Welcome guys to a YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a unboxing and breaking of my Predator 459. Uh, this 459 is going to have a surface drive from Mud Skipper getting put on it, which should be delivered, I want to say tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow, Monday. Uh, but either way, we got to break it in. So whenever that surface drive comes, we can do an assembly and put on my boat. And we'll make a video on that as well. So you guys subscribe and stay tuned for the next uh next video coming up. Alright guys, so as you can see, I did open it already, but I haven't unboxed it. I opened it to get the manual out, so I can go get the wires for the battery for the electric start. So I needed to get the manuals to see what kind of gauge, see what kind of motor oil we needed to do the break in. So now we're going to do the unboxing. Alright. Alright guys, here it is. You know it's his glory. Get your close up of it. Alright guys, so that's it is. That is the Predator 459cc Max Performance from Harbor Freight. And like I said, it is going on a Mud Skipper surf, uh, surface drive kit. And do want to make a video of that assembly. It's going to go on a 14 foot drown boat, 14 by 36 striker topper. Uh, so today all we're doing is just breaking it in waiting for the motor for tomorrow to come in assembly put it on and we're gonna hit the water and tell you guys how it does <clears throat> so the manual says the motor takes 10 w not 10 10 w uh it takes yeah 10 w30 oil that's what we got we got full synthetic i don't think the brand really matters i've seen some youtube uh videos out there and everybody says about the same thing it doesn't matter so we're gonna put some oil in it some gas and we're gonna let it run for an hour 
on idle then we're gonna let it run 30 minutes on quarter quarter throttle then we're gonna do another half an hour of halfway and then for the final 30 minutes we're gonna let it run at 75 percent Guys, I am taking off the keyway just so when I turn it on, nothing flies out, even though it does come with a zip tie. I just don't want to risk it, so I'm taking it off and I'm putting it in the Ziploc bag just safekeeping. Ah. I'm burn my kneecap. So, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this block under it. And I'm gonna tilt it up just to try to prevent some more oil to keep falling out. That should help it out a little bit in this excess oil from here. All right, guys, so my camera has shut off due to overheating. So I let it cool down for a little bit, and I'm back out here. It is hot out here. It is where I am in southern Louisiana, and it is heat as it ain't even summer yet. I'm... All right, guys, so here it is. We're going to do the first start of this break in process, and here we go. Mm -hmm. oh, apparently guys you gotta put it on start I didn't know that guys so after a little bit of confusion we got it to start we're gonna let it run for an hour on uh, idle just let that process break in and I'll get back with you guys when we come back and check on it all right guys so it's been about 30 minutes since we started the predator up for the break-in process since then I decided that I was gonna put my sea deck on my boat while I wait so I figured might as well get you guys in in on this part of the video as well wasn't gonna record it but here we are this is my boat it's a 14 foot tracker topper 14 by 36 and here it is As you can see, I already started the video. I already started off doing the C deck. 
um, cutting out some cardboard boxes from the predator box itself actually to cut it out so whenever I can go inside out of this heat I can uh, cut it out and just come out here and stick it I am about to start sanding the little spot right there because I have put a little sample piece and that glue to see how that glue will stick left it for about three weeks and it stuck pretty good had to get a machete try to grind it off so I am gonna just put seed decks on the benches itself uh, I ain't put no flooring on them might in the future it depends I don't see a reason for me to put any plywood down there but I'll get back with you guys as soon as we start with the seed deck process So, I got both benches done the same way, as you can tell. Now we just got to do this one, but I think on this one I'm just going to freehand it. Because I don't got no more cardboard. And I, when we put that seat deck on, I'll get back with you guys so you can see the process and the end result of it. So, can't do this one hand, but yeah, this is the seat deck we're getting. As you see it's green camo uh, i'm gonna go ahead and cut it i'm just gonna cut, trace it out the template but since i can't i don't got a tripod i can't stand you up so you guys can watch it so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and cut it and i'm gonna show you guys the end result all right guys so i just had to remove the low oil sensor on the predator 459 uh, i had tilted it a little bit because i moved it to the grass because it was vibrating from being on the concrete from being on and it kept shutting off on me so i went ahead looked up some information on it and removed the oil, oil sensor i'm gonna show you guys what that looks like in case hold on so, i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like in case one of you guys need to remove it as well all right this is the part right here this is a little black box that connects to the end to the engine block like this and it has three wires a yellow a black and one with a red tip that i'm assuming is a ground uh and it belongs on this part of the motor which you guys probably not gonna hear me so i'm just gonna show you You probably guys couldn't hear me just now because of that loud motor but i showed you where it belongs and i showed you what the part looks like i went ahead disconnected turned it back on everything runs fine but go do your own research before you try it i'm not responsible for your motors breaking i'm just doing it on mine because i pay for mine so if mine's breaking oh well but uh i'm gonna continue here with the seat deck and i'm gonna show you guys the process now i got the templates cut out now I'm about to just stick them on there. Like I said, I'm just doing the bench. I'm not doing the leg part, none of that. Just more so I can sit down more comfortably instead of burning my cheeks up. I'm burn my cheeks up on that sun. So 
let's get back to it all right guys so i just got done with the c deck it was really evil foam and here's the results Alright guys, so the motor's been running for a total of like about two hours. So we're about to do an oil change on it and let it run one more time for I wanna say at least 45 minutes just to try to get that metal out. Here it is. We already drained the oil. We drained the oil by taking this one this one right here, which we take it out and I'm tilting it just to get the you know, oil falls. But it has an oil filter in it, and that's how you drain it, twist it back on. Then you have this one with the orange, that's where you fill it up. Like I said, I got it tilted so no oil falls. I already got enough oil as you can see. All right, guys. We just got done doing the oil change for the second time. I'm about to do his final oil change. And this should be it to wrap up the video. I'm gonna still there. This should wrap up this video on how to break in that 459. But like I said, uh, I took off my low oil sensor because it was shutting off on me um, and a little bit of white smoke was coming out but I guess it was just part of the break-in process everything works fine let it run for another hour after that second oil change uh, I'm about to do this final one I'm about to put the new oil in there and that should be it I'm just gonna store it and then hopefully like I said tomorrow my surface drive should come in and I will get a video out to you guys on the assembly on that surface drive putting it on my 14 foot and yeah, that should, that should, the next video should be, oh well, guys, I don't know what happened there. So yeah, uh, this should be it for that video. Like I said, stay tuned for the next video. We are gonna be assembling that surface drive and we're gonna put it on this 459, put it on the motor and take it on the water. And I'll let you guys know how it does catch on the next one.